All right, we are in the daytime kitchen with Jimmy Trent from Cabo Fish Taco. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, and um, you just opened a couple months ago in downtown Roanoke. Right. Now. How's it been going? It's been going great. Uh, you know, um, just trying to build our business up, and uh, it's been going really well so far. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. just glad to be open and rolling now. So, well, a lot yeah. of excitement surrounding you being in downtown. Yeah, so excellent. We're, we're glad to hear it. Here. Tell us a little bit about Cabo Fish Taco. Okay, well, it was originally opened in, uh, the first one was in Charlotte, of course, uh, and then the second one they opened in Blacksburg um, about 12, 13 years ago, I think, and it's been there for a while now, doing well uh, in Hokey Land. So, mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, the owners just really want to bring in, like, uh, good, fresh ingredients um, and a good vibe, a positive vibe, and, uh, you know, Good food that everyone can enjoy together, you know, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, let's and talk yeah. about Relax. the food. What kind of food? I mean, obviously tacos. Sure, we have tacos, fajitas. Um, we do a lot of burritos. We don't have just seafood. We do um, wide array like steak, chicken. You know, we have tofu. We have different vegetarian options with that. Um, we do corn tortillas as well. So for our gluten-free people mm -hmm. out there. Um, we could take care of them and accommodate them. So, yeah. uh -huh. so give us yeah. a little teaser on what we'll be making today. All right, this is our barbecue mahi taco. Um, it is was featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives hey, uh, years that's ago. That's what I heard. So, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. So um, it's a. Uh, it's just one of our staple tacos. It's um, one of our go-tos, and this is one of our fan favorites. So just wanted to showcase it a little bit today. I cannot Great. wait to try it. All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen with Jimmy Trent from Cabo Fish Taco, and today you are sharing a recipe for barbecue mahi tacos, is that right? That's right. All That's right, right, let's get started. What do we need? All right, so we have uh, two flour tortillas, and like I said earlier, we do have corn tortillas, so uh, for gluten-free or celiac, we have that available for people. Okay. Um, basically, we start off with, uh, this is our Cabo Mexi slaw. That's mm -hmm. our base for it right there. Does that mean there's like a little spice to it? It's, it's, it just has a, a spice blend in it. It is not okay. hot as okay. far as that goes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So we also have here, which we'll be tossing our mahi in, is the barbecue sauce, our mango barbecue sauce we make in-house. Then we'll be topping it here with our cilantro white sauce that we also make in-house. Uh, this is just an herb blend that we finish it off with, and we stuff the taco with uh, guacamole, mm -hmm. uh, Mixed cheeses and tomatoes. Yes. Oh All my right. Gosh, that sounds so good. All right. Well, let's get started here. All righty. Okay. So let's go over to the stove. So we got the pan heating up here. Go put a little, little bit of oil in there and butter blend, just oil to get it. Oil and butter blend. I <laughs> like that. Yep. So got the mahi right here. We're Is there put like in a there. key to cooking mahi? Uh, I think you just want to season it properly. I mean, okay. I think uh, overall. Um, with anything, you just want to get it. Ooh, got a little hot here, so we'll nice. turn it down just a little right. bit. Uh, you just don't want to overcook fish. I think is kind of the thing. Okay. And we're gonna hit it. What we usually do is hit it with our black fish seasoning, which uh, we get made uh, from Motown Spice, which uh, is a company that makes all of our spices and all of our um, anything that goes into Cabo recipes. So very okay. cool. Uh huh. Let that kind of do its thing, man. Okay, these are really good. I can wait. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. That's Excellent. delicious. Good. So good. One, you said once they cook them off, then could they go into the barbecue sauce? Right. We'll go ahead and once that finishes up cooking, um, mm -hmm. we'll toss we'll we'll toss it in our mango barbecue sauce, and then uh, we'll put it right in the taco, which we can build up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It said we'll put the avocado in there like that. Man, that's good. Yeah, that's really it's good. It's got a nice kick, but it's not overwhelming. Not overwhelming. Right, it's got a little bit of spice, but nothing too much. No. So while you're building that, tell us the other um, taco options that you all have. Well, we have a lot of different stuff. We do have some fryer, like some traditional or Cabo fish taco. Original one would be uh, just a white fish taco that comes um, with a similar setup. It would have cabbage in it instead of our slaw, okay. um, but it... Um, it comes out of the fryer as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of more of a traditional street taco where we kind of branch out a little bit and do some wacky stuff with, with some other things just to kind of yeah. branch out a little bit, that okay. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do, like I said, offer non 
uh, seafood options as well for the people that aren't into that so much. But mm -hmm. we do have shrimp and and um, different. We have tuna that we uh, that we run that we really like. It's a very popular taco, Tabaru tuna. It's, it's one hmm. of my favorites as well. So awesome. So now, do you have your menu online? Uh, I, we do. You do? Yep, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Easy enough. I'll tell you what. These are delicious. I highly recommend it if you head on out there. And, and please do. They're located on Campbell Avenue here in Roanoke. CaboFishTaco.com. Thanks again. No Thank problem. You. We'll Thanks for back. having us. Mm -hmm.